Today we are going to learn a secret prayer, a secret method to prayer, a secret way to pray that will guarantee you will manifest what you want to manifest, you will live the life you want to live, and we find that out now. Let's kick straight on into it. Hi folks, my name is Ben. Welcome to Elevate. I'm so blessed by your company and I'm glad you found the channel, however you have. I hope you love your time here and I hope you'll consider subscribing and joining our family. You know, there are quite literally hundreds and hundreds of videos just like this one on the channel covering all sorts of topics about subconscious programming, about alignment, about practical steps you can take to manifest your dream and your best life right now. So when we're finished here, why not have a look? See what's there. I'm sure you'll find something that ministers to you, that meets you where you're at. And also, don't forget to come back tomorrow because there will be a new one waiting for you then too. There'll be a link coming up here that shows a short video with some information on my counselling and my coaching group if you want to join me and a group of others there. But today, folks, I want to share some thoughts with you surrounding a very, very powerful way that you can pray, a technique of prayer, a specific type of prayer that engages the manifestation process, that engages the creation process and actually sees you start tracking towards that thing at a rate of knots you've never experienced before. You know, so many of us, we want to develop a relationship with the universe. We want to develop this personal dialogue. We want to know how to talk to the universe, how to communicate with God and the angels. We look for signs around about us. We want to know, am I on the right track? Is my manifestation near? What's happening? Can you give me a little behind the scenes tour? And folks, there is absolutely a way that you can effectively pray with your energy to move the hand of God to move the universe on your behalf. Today you will find out, but before we do, can I ask you to stick with me to the end? Because this might seem a little bit esoteric in nature, but believe me when I tell you, nothing will deliver you a result quicker than aligning with what I'm sharing with you in today's video. So hang about folks, it's only a short video, but it's packed with power. You see, the principle behind prayer was never meant to be to pray your worries and your fears. Now, yes, the scripture says to come to God and give him your fears, to leave them with him. But it never said to dwell in it perpetually, and yet that's what we seem to do. No matter what your belief system aligns with, we know that when we're manifesting with the law of attraction, we're working with energy. So whatever you call that great power, you can commune with it. The problem is, so many of us perpetually pray our need. I need this, I want that, I don't have this, I'm in this fear, I have this lack, and we're continually telling God how big our problem is. The power comes when you learn to tell your problem how big your God is, how big the universe is. You see, it's all just energy. And the nature of energy is to flow. That's why one of the universal principles is the perpetual transmutation of energy. Energy can't be created or destroyed. It just always has been. And it's always in a state of flow, shifting from one form into another, flowing into form and through form, and then back out and into another form. It's like when you boil water. You have one form of energy, it's water. You apply heat to it, another form of energy. And that energy shifts into steam and it goes up into the atmosphere and then it comes back down as rain. It's the perpetual transmutation of energy. It's the flow state of energy. So anything that you want to manifest is already out there. The problem is we talk to the universe like we're a victim. And we say, I need this and I don't have it. And it puts us in this lack mentality. It kicks us into this drive of scarcity. And our approach is all twisted up. The energy of what you want already exists. 
The way to receive it is to pray your gratitude, not your problem. Yes, go to God, go to the universe to release your fears. Leave them with Him. But go one step further. Pray your gratitude. Pray your thankfulness in advance of receiving your answer. That gets the wheels of creation flowing. Anything you want, you can have. Any dream you have in your heart is there for you to make it manifest. You can do that by praying your thankfulness, praying your gratitude, even when the things around about you don't make any sense. And you can start by doing this today in very simple ways. Now, these will feel counterintuitive, but believe me when I tell you they work. The next time you're out and about and someone gives you an opportunity to be upset, someone gives you a chance to be offended with their actions or what they say to you or about you, come up higher, turn the tables on that thing, operate in a new form of energy, and just shut out the white noise of life, close your eyes and say, you know what, I'm so thankful and grateful that I don't have to buy into that. I'm so thankful that my solution is on the way, even if I don't know where it's coming from. I'm so thankful that even though I've received this unexpected bill, the wherewithal to provide for it will come and meet me. I'm so thankful that even though I'm in conflict at the moment, there is a purpose for it. You see, folks, it's in choosing to practice gratitude that the mind begins to shift and find more like energy. So if you operate from a foundation of gratitude, if you operate from a foundation of thanksgiving, your mind will naturally find more to be thankful for. That's why you should always pray your thanksgiving, not your problem. Pray that you are thankful for the solution, even if you don't know how or where it's going to come. Just, I'm so thankful and grateful there is a solution. It is coming. I can't see it. I don't know where it's coming from, but that's why I have faith. You know, the scripture says that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of that which is unseen. Your faith is the evidence of the unseen, of what you have hoped and prayed for. So use it. It's like a muscle. The more you exercise it, the stronger it gets. And then all of a sudden, it becomes easy to turn the tables and to come up higher. When someone gives you a hard time, don't buy into the energy. No, change it up. I'm so thankful and grateful that I don't have to fall into that vibration anymore. I'm so thankful and grateful that all of my needs are met. I'm so thankful and grateful that I'm right in the hands of the universe. God, you are with me. Your hedge of protection surrounds me. I am a victor and not a victim. I'm so thankful and I am so grateful that I am the head and not the tail. I am above only and never beneath. The scripture says that you will be blessed in the city and blessed in the field. So pray that promise. I'm so thankful that wherever I go, I am blessed. When you pray your gratitude, you will find more gratitude popping up in your life. Folks, that's how the mechanics of the manifestation process works. What you focus on expands. If you focus on gratitude, you will find more to be thankful for. And it is walking that pathway that leads to your manifestation. So the most powerful way that you can pray, that you can approach God, that you can talk to the universe and get what you want, is to stop praying your lack. It's stop praying your need and start praying the solution. The solution comes from gratitude. The solution comes from thankfulness. Thankfulness in advance. Does that resonate with you? Does it make sense to you folks? It's so easy to slip down and to be the victim, but the problem is, when we go to the universe, we go to God and we pour out our heart, and we are, oh, this is this big problem and I need your help, and all we're doing is amplifying the lack. What we're doing is ramping up that scarcity mindset, shedding more light on the problem. Isn't it crazy that we want a solution, but all we cast our light on, all we give attention to is a problem? How can you generate a solution when all of your energy is pouring into the problem? 
Get your eyes off the problem. Stop praying the problem and start praying the gratitude that will lead to the solution. Even if you don't know where it will come from, just be sure it will come. Exercise that faith. Build that muscle up nice and strong. Your faith is a muscle. Work that thing. You've got this. All you have to do is hold on tight, folks. The good old days are coming around again. You haven't seen your best days. There is greatness on the inside of you. You just have to water those seeds with gratitude and exercise your faith. If you want to know more about how the creation process works, how you can manifest and achieve your dreams, check out some of the videos that are going to be popping up on the screen. Have a look at the hundreds of other ones on the channel because for today, that's all I've got for you. But I hope it's blessed you and I hope you'll subscribe and come back tomorrow. Peace.